goodness with face, pat, and tiz. Looking at the docket, it looks like it's about that time. So I'm just wondering and asking y'all, y'all think it's about that time? Oh, let me check, let me check, let me check. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's definitely a uh, good, 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 good fuckery 30. All right. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Episode 35, good and fuckery for this week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your Hold rage up, are... <laughs> your rage faces are so dope. <laughs> That's gonna All be a right. <laughs> Look like the action scene right before you pick it when you're picking your character for the fighting game. <laughs> you just stand there in the stands on this side, and that face is in the background. Tis <laughs> versus <laughs> the world. <laughs> oh man! But, yeah. but uh, so there's a lot of good in this good in Valkyrie. Oh shit! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we keep that good. One. Keep the good going, baby. Let's yeah, get yeah. It. Keep the vibes going. <clears throat> so we're gonna start off in my hometown of Portsmouth, where this uh sixth grader. Well, Spent nearly a week. Let's call it Portsmouth. 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 Oh, matter of fact, let's get right into this. Since you brought it up, all right. It's if if you want to seem like, say, you're in the seven five seven, and you don't want to seem like you're a tourist or whatever, even though it's a melting pot and people still tell you that. If you want to see like you've been here for a while, it's not Portsmouth. It's Port Portsmouth. Port it's Portsmouth. 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 Suffolk, it's, not, it's not Suffolk, Norfolk. It's, it's not Suffolk. 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 No, Suffolk. So Suffolk. I almost sound like suffocation, but don't, yeah, yep. Suffolk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yep. not Norfolk. It's Norfolk. It's not even At no least down here. Norfolk. Now Norfolk. I know <laughs> in New Norfolk. England, if it's, if it's New England or whatever, it might call it some, you know, total, you know, it might, it might be Norfolk. But, you know, mm -hmm. if you're in the Sussex, in Wales, <laughs> in Great Britain, whatever it might be. Suffolk, eating them, Norfolk. Eating them, eating them bangers and mash. But <laughs> here, here in the southeast of Virginia, in the 757 area, Suffolk, Norfolk, Portsmouth. Hey, man, All what right. the hell is bangers and mash, man? <laughs> I said, what? Yeah, yeah, excuse me. Y'all know what I get sleepy, man. I get stupid, man. What the hell is bangers and mash, man? Bangers and mash? Yeah, man. This is British. They be like, we eat bangers and mash. <laughs> I gotta look this up. We're gonna have to Google. Uh, we'll have to Google that, man. Oh shit! It's <laughs> uh, uh, it's sausage and, pota and mashed potatoes. <laughs> Bangers and mash, hell no! Nah. <laughs> sausage. And, why the hell they call it sausage or banger? That's wow, shit. The British people. I don't know, man. They different. I'm, I'm never, I'm never gonna call a food of mine a banger. That's nah. crazy. So many, too many. Yeah, different, not a, a not a food shape like that that has to go in my mouth. No. Oh, no, nah, it ain't about nah. to be called no banger, bro. <laughs> nah, <laughs> God bless everybody, man. But I can't do it. No, 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 no. I don't even want to call it a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. That ain't got nothing to do with your topic. My bad. But it's hilarious. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Um, I'm going to tell y'all out there in uh, Pod Squad world, man. It's uh, pushing midnight. So, y'all got to bless us this evening. I don't know what's going to happen. I told y'all. It, it's going to get it's gonna get dicey. <laughs> and, and I... And I had to tap one before I came in because uh, tap, I just tap, got off work. Tap, tap, tap <laughs> so, in. So, um, back to my hometown of Portsmouth or whatever. Uh, we got a, a sixth grader spent a week in North Carolina uh, college campus after accepting a summer STEM program. Uh, Jerome Griffin Jr. from Douglas Park Elementary School, which is cool because that's 
like the elementary school my little brother and sister went to. Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> was joined um, by students across the country to participate in the National Youth Leadership Forum Explore uh, STEM program. And if you're not ex- familiar with STEM programs, that's like the programs I learn more about computers and mathematics. Science, and tech, engineering, and math. Sometimes they call it STEAM if they put art in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 <clears throat> so, yep. Saw that. You know, um, you got you know you got a kid. Them them two terms always in your face. Yeah. So yeah, I saw that up there. It was a uh, hometown hit me right here in the heart. In the heart, Indeed, man. Shout so, out VA. Yeah. So we're bringing that up. All right, so next on the list, because I accumulated a lot here. <laughs> hey, I ain't bad, um, man. Let them rock. All right. Shonda Rhimes and Netflix expand, expand their um, partnership to include video games and virtual reality content, which is crazy. Um, I play a Shonda she, Rhimes game. Yeah. Like, um, I would never thought that Sean Browns were even thinking about video games in the first place, but uh, yeah, the story you know, not familiar. Uh, she one. has that show, um, Bridgerton. I hope I'm saying that right, but Bridgerton. that's what it looked like. Bridgerton, yeah. With the uh, British folk, they be fucking all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's probably why yeah. it's like one of the top. Oh, yeah, it'd be, <laughs> a, lot of, it'd be, it'd be a lot of screwing on there. That shit like Game of Thrones, but. Yeah, more. you know. Just being there again. One, one of these days, I got to get into Game of Thrones because I haven't yet. But I said, tell you what, if you were if, if if you was a high school boy again, Bridgerton would be your shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I totally understand where you're coming like, from. Like man. back in the day, it was on like it would have been on like HBO Uncut, you know, <laughs> right, right after Real Sex. <laughs> Shock video. <laughs> She pulled that out her what? Yo, that, yo. Now she's a cartoon? I don't mean no harm, man, but if you grew up in the 90s, man, HBO and Cinemax after 11 o'clock had some weird shit. Like, if you ever wanted to be, to, to be, like, I don't know what they thought they was doing, but if you ever wanted to be scared straight of some shit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, HBO like, no, and in the in the, in the in the mid to late nineties. Who was a wild, was a wild west of cable boy? Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> scramble porn. <laughs> they were wild. <laughs> scramble porn. Scramble porn. Yeah, the Spice Channel. It's, it's a squiggly. <laughs> it looked like a wrinkled <laughs> version of my shirt. With and different that, colors, and, that, and everybody, and everybody had that one cousin's house that had the uh, little box on the cable where you can get all the channels. So you, mm-hmm. you like, oh, that's what it looks like when it's not waving like that. <laughs> <laughs> you mean in, in the middle of the scrapbook report? I saw this movie last week. I could not figure out what was happening. Okay, now we got action. <laughs> <laughs> the top part be scrambled. The, the bottom part be scrambled. Gotta be that <laughs> one little square right there where you can see something. <laughs> oh, oh. Is that a daddy? That's a daddy. <laughs> That's the <laughs> she know, But she can't tell what type of nipple it is. You don't know if it's a male nipple or female nipple because all you see is a nipple because it's so squiggly on the screen of the channel. So you're like, wow, well, what the hell? What were they Damn, looking like, Dave Spell, in the first episode? Come on, mm-hmm. Teddy. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> Girlfriend. Hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. Oh yeah, maybe maybe I tapped too much before I came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey people, I told y'all, man, this is one of them mm-hmm. nights, man. Mm-hmm. Ain't no telling what's about to happen this evening. So um me going I'm gonna continue. Shonda Rhymes. Got you on Shonda Rhymes. Now um random news that pop up. Super Mario 64, a sealed copy, becomes the most expensive game ever selling 
at one point five million at an auction. Super why, Mario sixty. Why was it? Why was that game? Is it that hard to get a hand, your hands on like a second hand copy of Super Mario sixty four? Is it like that bitch of a collector's item? I know it's a big game, but I didn't know it was like. I would have thought like maybe the original Mario or like one of the old older systems games. Would like, be, okay. 64, I think as in the review, 64 kind of captured everything about Mario. You would like in a, one game or whatever, even though I feel like they should have had Yoshi up there way more than it would be. But oh, that's Yoshi. just my critique. That's still my favorite character from all the Mario games. But God dang, because of the popularity of it, like people still to this day will buy a, a Nintendo 64 just to buy a Super Mario 64 because it's that good of a game. Man, if I bought 64, I would buy, I would get it. WCW versus NWO and I would get uh, WWE. What was it? Oh, what was their game? No man? Mercy? Yeah, man. Oh, man, that was my game, man. bro. Yeah, No I Mercy is one man. of those. No Mercy is a, a Super Mario 64 video games, too, when it comes to wrestling games. Yeah, boy, man. You break people arm down over time and stuff. They do them, and you, be, and you uh, hit somebody with one of them haymakers and knock them out. And... Mm. Oh, man, that was such a cool wrestling game. That was, like, one of the best wrestling games ever, especially for so. such a, a shitty graphics system. Yeah. You didn't know at the time, but. No, at the time, it was amazing. It was amazing. But yeah, that and Super Smash Brothers, the first couple. I never could play Super Smash. I could never figure out the percentage thing. So I would all I was always confused whether <coughs> I was winning or losing. So I'd always be thinking I'm winning and then die. I still don't understand like exactly how I know if I'm winning. Your your, your percentage is how much damage you you take in. How much can oh, I, I take? Because I'd be seeing yeah. people with like almost two hundred percent. It they all still, depends. They on still the be character. chugging along. <laughs> It still is. It all depends on the character and how much and how you take that damage, from what I understand. Because my brother, he had it or whatever. So he always had Super Mario because it's his game. He's going to pick Super Mario. So I perfected myself with Link from Legend of Zelda. I was going to say, I see a lot of people playing with Link and Dark Link. <clears throat> Got that move with um, Link that you kind of like uppercut him with the sword. And then you jump up and spin around and kick them off. That was my favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smack. I was like, yes, perfected. Then I played this Asian dude, and I realized that I was nowhere near. Where. Yeah, when you play a real gamer, you realize mm -hmm. how, how, how casual of a gamer you are. Because I be thinking I'm the shit. Like, you know, when I'm just hanging out with my little online friends. And then we'll go to, like, play against somebody that's, like, really uh, – they, that's what they do. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, holy smokes, man. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like... Like, did you make right the now. game? What the hell? They be doing moves. You ain't never even know what's on the game. Yeah. P-Show yep. with combos. Be like, well, what did... Well, what page in the badge? What was that on? Because I don't have that in my book. That, that's not in my... That's not on my... I don't have that. And, and then if they really feel bad about you or whatever... They already the critique thing ahead what your flaw is and be like, hey, next time try this guy. Yep, mm -hmm. pretty much. All right. All right, I gotta say this story. Twin, you know, twin, of pretty course. much, and my brother. From they are both avid gamers, right? So back in the day, to see those two come together and clash was epic. It was like watching. Like the action scene of your favorite cartoon, like watching Ryu and Ken come across <clears throat> each other. Yeah, it was like watching Dragon Ball and everything. So, and they actually, you know, they got the big giant board, like the oh, um, big the big board. joysticks, like <laughs> um, like in the arcade, but for the console. Yeah, yeah. So, Marvel versus Capcom, Mortal Kombat, those two. My God, man. It's like games like, I suck at. I love to play them, but I on um, Marvel versus Capcom, I literally just push anything and <clears throat> be coming in the combo. I be just pushing all the buttons over and over again. <clears throat> I be just <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know what the hell I be doing. <laughs> but, but see, the thing is, right? These guys actually 
practice like the the actual movements so they know exactly the right time when all right i'm i'm dealing with a beginner player he's gonna keep doing and tapping the same thing so i'm gonna just wait all right did it did it like when you you over here like they're like like they just type it on a computer and it does the most amazing <laughs> shit that you ever seen. You might as well just been you might as take well off, just have your hand off. Your home yeah, you might as well just keep your hand off your off your controller and just let them go. Cause <laughs> it's the most amazing crab in the world. And then like then when they countering each other or whatever, mm-hmm. I was like, yo, this is like really watching UFC <laughs> on low. Like this, this is great, or whatever. Twin is actually good at the characters that everyone suck at, like Zangi. Oh wow! Because mm-hmm. he wants to be the guy that. Oh my God! You got beat by Zangi. Is he good with ball rock? <laughs> I think yeah, he is. See, he that's is. You know you good and ball rock. <clears throat> like, he be so yeah. sl- take so long for his good moves <clears throat> to charge up. What I've learned is with those characters that's like trash or whatever, it's all about timing and just knowing when or whatever. So if you, yeah, if I don't you know already, none of that. I be getting beat yeah. up and like I'm not, I'm no, I'm, I'm only good against the computer in shooting games, mm-hmm. and I'm only good against the computer in fighting okay. games. Now, a basketball game, I can hold my own in. Now, most sports games, I can hold my own in or at least do okay Mm -hmm. for, 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 you know, the amount of time that I play, I guess. But Madden, I don't know why. If it's on a real football field, I can – I'm fine. I'm, 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 I'm pretty decent out there. But on that damn Madden, for some reason, I don't care what year it's been, I've never been that great at that game. Like, I've always had to turn the sliders all the way up and, like, weird shit like that to do anything. Like, I, I can't – I could barely beat the computer on that shit unless it's on if, – if it's not on Rookie. Now, I blame this on my total nerd, nerddom, but I – you know, I've never had anybody get me interested in sports enough to even know how to do the video game anyway. All right, basketball, that's pretty simple. You just got to learn how to do the buttons and the moves or whatever. But as far as football, I feel like football is a little bit more strategic or whatever. It is. Oh, yeah. And 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 that's what pissed me off. So, like, that's the thing about uh, Madden, right? You Mm -hmm. You will be doing shit that you would do in real football. But it don't work on Madden because somebody else you'll be playing against will be doing some glitch move that only mm-hmm. works on video games, but it, it's a guaranteed interception every time or it's a guaranteed first down every time. And they'll just keep doing it over and over and over. And it's nothing you can do to stop it because it's like they don't found a loophole in like the code where like if this happens, this has to happen. So it's like a guaranteed. Oh man, it's so corny, man. Like, and, and when you watch people play against each other, it just be them cheesing each other to death. Like, mm-hmm. glitch move, glitch move, glitch move, glitch move. Like, man, get the fuck out of here. I ain't got time for that. I want to play a video I, I game and have fun. I want to I want to be a god <laughs> on video. In the video game, I want to be able to do whatever. Like, I want to be Superman. Can't shit beat me. I tell you, I I'd say that's like one of those Akuma moves. Whatever you know how that Akuma has this one one move where he does and it knocks all of your meter down into one, and then all he got to do is a simple punch and you out. That's usually what that, and I know exactly what that Madden glitch you're talking about too because I seen. That's a couple so. of man. It's like these four <clears throat> offensive plays and it's like these three defensive plays, and if you put the man right here on this play, no matter what. You get sat. No matter what, they get they score the, they they catch the ball. No matter what, they break the first time. Like if he just corn him, I ain't got time. I, oh man, I, that'd be the shit that I hate about video games now. Like now that everything is online, mm-hmm. like a lot of the more fun experiences you gotta play online and do them, but it also leads to moments of like, I don't wanna keep losing. Yeah. A video game. I'm playing this to have fun. Like I'm not an e-gamer. I don't get paid for this. So I'm just doing this for my – I'm paying to play it. I, I just want to do this for my – let me just win. 
I just want to beat up <laughs> everybody, or I want to score 100 points, or I want to live out my my fantasy or some shit that I'd never be able to do in real life. Like, I don't, shoot I, I, I don't, want, this to, I don't want this to look like real life of me against an NFL player. Like, <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Like, I don't really, I don't really want to go against Jerry Rice. Like, I just want to feel, I just, I just want a game that they, they got Jerry Rice's name on one of the characters, man. Like, <laughs> <it's hard. laughs> shit crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> and that was our video game rant for the day. <laughs> <Da-da-da. Da-da-da. clears throat> All right. So wars and achievements in uh, the right good on. and fucking. <clears throat> So uh, Naomi Osaka wins best female athlete at the SBs. Let's um, go! All right. Now I found this is funny. The, here, Don Cheadle got an Emmy nomination for like a one episode brief moment in Falcon and the Winter Soldier for best supporting actor or something like that. Like he just I don't remember that. Huh? Yeah, oh, exactly. Man, that. That's how long he was in. in <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> and I he know got I didn't see all of every episode, but I don't remember seeing him. <clears throat> exactly. Him in what, what was it and um, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, Don uh, mm-hmm. the, Yeah, he was in there. Don Cheetah was in there because you know he's war. He's that war machine is. in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. But he won't he won't end there for a long time. And but he, he wasn't even in the war machine suit or whatever. So it wasn't anything memorable, but for that little moment, he got an Emmy nom- nomination. So hey, give it up for black excellence, y'all. He hey, played man. the heck out of that. Don't take but a minute. second. Don't take but a second, man. You know. Mm-hmm. Thing, you know, I'm the mic on y'all. Must be the melanin. Must be the melanin. Must be the melody. <laughs> 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 Deion Sanders fan from back in the early nineties. Must be the melody. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, respect to the queens. One of our peace, um. Peace, peace. One of our elder queens, Marla Gibbs, is to receive her Hollywood star on the Walk of Fame. It's on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's about that time, man. She's been a cornerstone of a lot of great black sitcoms, man, over the years, man. And she's a damn good actress, man. I, I rock with Marla. Oh, yeah, definitely. Respect, definitely. respect, OG <clears throat> queen. Respect, queen mother. Respect. Damn big respect. Go ahead, Marla. I love her, man. She was she was dope as fuck in the Jefferson, man. Mm-hmm. And she just looked like she could cook. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, you know she make a mean plate of green. I think it's just with the cornbread that just melt in your mouth. Oh, uh, you already know. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving at her house every year is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Oh wait, the smell um, of the peach cobbler over here right now. <laughs> you know what? When I oh uh, when I work at Hardy's. I made a mean peach cobbler, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I, I like peach cobbler. I made a mean peach cobbler. <laughs> I did, man. I didn't like that, though, man. I don't know if I can ever do it again, but I did it. <laughs> but, um, I made a mean peach cobbler, man. <laughs> Hell no. So, yeah. All right. Just in case y'all didn't know, Samsung quietly launched. It's TV Plus streaming service on the web. So what it's supposed TV to be Plus? free. Is that like Netflix? <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the new John. I haven't checked it out yet. I just saw it. So it's supposed to be free. So just in case y'all didn't know, Samsung got another place to find content. There you go. <clears throat> Appreciate that. Hey, yeah. The Padawan, the Padawan told you first. Um, I really shouldn't have tapped it that hard before I came in the pocket. <laughs> so anyway, um, Nigeria beats USA and beat the uh, hell out of them. And, and the Olympics whoop their ass right now. Historic upset, as they called it. 
Yeah. It would be an upset because it's not America. But yeah. well, Australia Go, kicked their ass right after that. We're not looking that good. Like we don't have no big man. We have no rim protection. Um, we have no answer for the the European style of play. Like we are not looking that great. We got the best talent, mm-hmm. but you know how sometimes like. When you're playing against teams that play team ball and we used to playing one or two man basketball. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care what you say. You can run pick and roll all day against these dudes, but at some point they're going to figure that out. We ain't got no answer when they figure that out. Like they, they we stop one of their plays. They just run something else. They sending us off back go. screens, running back door cuts, down flares and shit, kicking our ass, man. Our players are just getting ran. <laughs> And then they just dump it on. The, then they then they just find the mismatch because we so used to switching. They just find the mismatch, dump it down to the mismatch, whatever whoever they got their size advantage on, and beat us up because we ain't got no rim protector. Man. Our big man is Draymond Green. Mm-mm-mm. All right, NBA, you mm-hmm. had to um, <clears throat> rethink about your Olympic team. Oh, we, we have no like I'm telling you, man, they gotta start building it for like an actual team. They can't just keep thinking about like we're gonna just send the best players because it's so the NBA is so guarded forward heavy now. Like you still need a, a, a big man. Like other countries got seven footers and six eleven dudes that play the post. We have nobody to stop that. They drive into the whole our 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 rim protector is Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant weighs 130 pounds soaking wet, and that's my favorite player. But I know his limitations. I know he ain't the Kimbe Matumbo. He is not. Yeah, true, true. Where the hell is LeBron? Oh, LeBron ain't playing in no limit. LeBron, man, he out, he got out them playoffs, and you know they was hurt, and he 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 coming off injury and shit. So like they, yeah. The, LeBron, the Lakers, I'm probably like, Lakers, ain't paying the me Lakers trying to get healthy right now, man. And you know that uh, Space Jam <laughs> movie dropping, so you know he also gearing up for that run in the off True. season. So, yeah, he on that. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> right. And then, you know, you the, the Knicks, you got AD, that's a big man, but he he hurt. We didn't, the, the, most of the other big men in the league is from another country. So they'd be playing for one of them European countries to whoop our ass. And then, oh, and then, this is what I learned uh, over here. If Giannis did decide to play for us instead of Greece, oh, shoot. He could, but that nigga's still in the finals. He's trying to get a ring right now. He's thinking about us. And then you got a couple of players that's supposed to be joining them after the playoffs, but they guards and shit too. So it's like you still got wing players. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't built for international ball, man. Oh man. Well, oh, well. we did beat Argentina, though. I will say that we beat Argentina. Though, so. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Yeah, but Australia about to kick our ass again. Yeah, and got kicked by the kangaroos. Oh yeah, Australia ain't nothing to be fucked with. <clears throat> I would, well, I would, I would. I would expect so. No, a bunch of crowd out the D's coming down the down line with the <laughs> man, you go around punching wallabies in the face, man. Ain't none Damian Lilla gonna tell you. I box kangaroos. <laughs> man. <laughs> Bitch, I live in the outback. <clears throat> we go we go to sleep with the possibility of poisonous spiders coming and killing us in two seconds. Scorpions everywhere, like this ain't shit. <laughs> Random animals take over our towns once a year, and we just deal with it. <laughs> Is it locust season? They can just they can just walk to Walmart, like you know it ain't nothing, you know. Fuck all these 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 random infestation of crabs that we can't even walk. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Just not too What you mean? This happens every year. The crap season. Just, just another, t- you know, just another two. You got damn wombats again. I think I got, I got, I got a country, a country of Steve Irwins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, man. You can't play ball against a person that boxes kangaroos. No. Nope. can't do that. No. Nope. 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 The hunger ain't the anyway. same. <laughs> anyway. Well, uh, back back to people doing crazy stuff. Uh, amazing stuff. Oh, by the way, Meg the Stallion is going to be in She-Hulk. As Meg mm-hmm. the Stallion. Just putting that out there. <clears throat> I thought you was gonna say she was the, got cast in She Hulk. I was about to be like, "What? Nah, the nah, black She Hulk, right on." I don't think nah. nah. She Hulk character is like her personality is a white woman. Period. It's like this is true. Can't, yeah. Well, she's like Plus, she breaks the fourth wall, so she's gonna be like a female you know Deadpool. They, you know who they bet not film uh, cast as She Hulk? Who? Jessica Alba. Are they thinking about her? I don't think so. I just don't like Jessica Alba, and I hated her <laughs> in Fantastic Four, so I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> to whoever's casting, just please don't do that. No, nah, they probably got a whole new age, um, like, uh, generation of new people now. Probably play She-Hulk or something. I hope so. Mm-hmm. I damn sure. These new actors, I don't know their names. Uh, these new actors and actresses, I don't know their names. Huh? You said what? I said, is it just me or with most of these new actors or actresses, I don't know their names. Yeah, I, I'm also <laughs> out of the loop on a lot of stuff I know, like, because I don't watch pretty much no news right now and mm-hmm. very little like the entertainment stuff I get it'd be like off quick hits off of Twitter or like a YouTube video somebody else talking about it real quick Same but I, I don't get a like outside of the, looking up these positive black news stories man I don't go nowhere near news man it'd be too depressing for me right now I need like a month off to like defrag and like let my brain reset from certain things I've never been the person to actually know the actor like really like if it's not the same famous black actors and comedians I already know I ain't gonna know the person I just found oh, out shit. about Ben Affleck no I be knowing some actors I, I ain't I, saying I, like I'm no expert or no like I can win Jeopardy or nothing but I do know like I, 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 I'm i usually pretty decent at like knowing actors names and shit like, like that but the obvious actors I can probably point out, but if it's like, if it's like one of those, like who, like character the actors, is. they be they be in everything, but yeah, so exactly you can't know really them. them Steve Buscemi type niggas. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I can't I can't point them out, I pretty guess. much. So, but yeah, I think that I think Meg will actually work out for She Hulk because she's actually animated enough. To do that, I feel like she like female Buster Rhymes animated her, her, enough. Her knees are as strong as she hawks. Yep. And um <laughs> plus <laughs> shout out to Megan. Plus walnut knees. behind her knees. It's, I'm I'm beginning to make this a habit of like shouting out to Megan's knees. Like every Yeah, podcast. you like her but, knees a lot, I can tell. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> but um <laughs> but anyway. Somebody said you got a knee fetish on the last live, too. I can't, yeah. Yeah, I was twin. No, uh-huh. twin is always trying to assassinate my character some type of way. But that's how, that's what friends do. <laughs> but um, like the knee. I would say because I've actually heard Meg rap and she has a lot of nerd culture in her raps on the low. Yes, yes. Know? I feel like she fits with this. Like, if it was, like, Cardi or Nikki, I would just feel like, all right, they just dumped any old black person in this. But I I feel like if anybody, we're going to put any black female in there, Meg fits the part. Because she's animated enough, and then she got the pop culture, like, nerd culture in her bars enough. That would make sense. Right on. Very much. But yeah, that's my um new additions going on tour in 2022. Sherlock, come on! 
Things uh, you like I knew you would. All of them. All, all of them. All night. All of six. All six of them. Am I, am I um, battling you or am I battling new edition? New edition, nigga. We back on tomorrow. And um, speak. Um, what'd you say, face? Yeah, all them niggas getting back together again. Yeah. Ronnie, yeah. Ricky, yeah. Bobby, Mike. We're gonna ride this way. What about Ralph and Johnny? <laughs> all of them. And um, on the R&B side, continuing, Donnell Jones, Dave Hollister, and Carl Thomas are forming a super group called The Yeah, man, just because y'all old and sing R&B don't need y'all need to get together. No. I don't need no more <laughs> No bootleg LSG for the 2000s. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> I didn't care for the LSG movement. I was I was not a big fan of that. I'm, I'm good on this. I'm straight. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't I didn't yeah. need the I didn't need the, the tank I the tank genuine and uh Tyrese the TGT movement. I don't need none of these initials and shit coming together. And I wasn't all right. Tears take. Donnell Jones won't all let us a singer like that. He had some cool songs here and there, but it, vocally, yeah. he, he, ain't, he ain't about to blow nobody out of the water. Like, I'm good. I'm straight. He got that one one popular song that everybody likes. That one. Depressed <laughs> ass. Like, fuck out of here, man. Ding, 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 ding. Fuck out of here. I'm good. And I'm done with my test take. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, and another thing, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just come here, I'm just, just mad again for no reason. They ain't got, you know, I'll tell you something, man. And I don't like, I don't like his shoes. No, let me stop. <laughs> Um, so, um, this Friday, July 16th, um, Pop Smoke is coming out with a new album. So if y'all are a fan of Pop Smoke, it's coming out with a new album on the 16th. Uh, this is Madness. Mm-hmm. Oh, 2021 50. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got a whole, 98 whole bunch of features in there. Uh, Steven Victor, his manager, released like some graphic to let everybody know. But yeah, like only about two days away, they just released, hey, we pop. Um, popping out an album, Pop Smoke, Post Human. I can never say that word. Is it Post Hummus? Post Humus? Posthumous. 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 Hippopotamus. <laughs> Peter Pop. Hippopotamically. Hippopotamously. <laughs> Socrates' philosophies and hypotheses came to find out why I'd be dropping oh, these God, mockeries. Right. Mockeries. Form all robbery. Oh, my God. I don't know why, but that is one of the best starts to a verse ever, man. That y'all goes so hard. <laughs> I don't care what anybody say. It's that verse wow. is like one of the – it should be put down as one of the greatest <laughs> verses in rap history just because. Yeah. At least the, one, cause. Of the, one of the most, like – one, one of the ones that like most a lot of people know. Like you can start that. Oh, huh. You can start just that first part, and everybody like almost anywhere you go, somebody in the crowd gonna finish it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anybody, somebody, grandma, a baby. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, baby, stop selling weed, okay? <laughs> Nigga, I got kids to feed. <laughs> Shout out to Chappelle. Oh, oh that Chappelle. was so classy. Hey, baby. <laughs> baby. Hey baby. Sprinkle some crack oh. on them. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh shit. I snuck in the club, nigga. <laughs> Just tap on the ass and I'll be right out. <laughs> oh, Dean Pell was insane, man. Very much so. Very <laughs> much so. Speaking of insane, in a good way, maybe. Insane and I'm in bang. Oh, that's insane. <clears throat> I think I'm yeah, it's like that. Um, space tourism is up. Uh, Richard Branson of um, the billionaire founder of um, Virgin Galactic went on his first space um, vacation. I guess you space. So where do you go? 
He got some. Where is it's right here? It's uh. Man, where are you stopping at? Like, what resort is up there? You you going to the ISS? Like, what the? Heck? You just going out there to see? Hey, the Earth is actually. And then you come back a, home. So so, how long are you up there? Um, let's see. I don't really tell you what, because this is like the first like flight for them. Yeah, what you ain't gonna do is charge me four thousand dollars for you to take me straight up to the edge. I see, I see some stars, and then I come right back down. We ain't about to go to Mexico. We ain't about to do no hour trip. Yeah, and then then you got to go to Mexico, New Mexico. Los oh, no. If I have space tourism, that means I need to be able to get out of shop. <clears> I need to go be able to, you know, see the different districts. I need to go to the space beach. I need to see all. I need to do all that shit I would do as a tourist. So well, goddamn it, you gonna show me some sights, damn it. Hey, I've been trying to go on the space beach Swing me past Jupiter, forever. show me some moves real quick, goddamn it. Let me what's, what's over there in Saturn's <laughs> rings, man. Let me see them shit up close. Like I mean, you gonna show me something? What we ain't about to do is go to the to the edge of Earth's atmosphere and then you bring me back home. What the fuck I come up here for? Man, I know what the night sky yeah, look man. like. I want to see the shits. Take me at least to the moon. Let me see Neil. Look at the night real quick. You see the lunar balls on the shit. Night. At night. Right. For free. Oh, yeah. You ain't about to bamboozle me, Richard Branson. The no. planetarium is free. <laughs> you heard me. Shit, they got them old oh. 3D viewfinders that'll let you see some stars. I ain't gonna lie. If I was if I was a billionaire and I had nothing else better to do, I would probably yeah, if I got my money, like, but what what, what <clears throat> you ain't about to do is charge red or four, no four grand, and and, and oh. give and not actually give a tour. Like, if you are gonna do that, that was called a space tourism. Just say like <sighs> you can have you know like a quick space experience or something. But space mm-hmm. tourism that means we are up there long enough to see some things. You're gonna tour, give us a tour. <clears throat> like even when you go on a tour in California. They take you around and they show you different sites. Oh, this is where Marilyn Monroe was living at, and this is where uh, Humphrey Bogart fell. You know, like you see some shit. Don't take me up there and I just look around real quick out the window, and then we back. We coming on back down. Like no, nah, you can take fly me around since we up here. Take me in the low Earth orbit. And let me see right there. Let me see, see some place. space trash. Mm-hmm. That right there. Right. That's where the simulation is, right behind the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. going to space right behind the moon. Sound like he gonna get some like for, the, for, that, for that bread. Yeah. That would sound like to me. Well, if I was a billionaire, to tell you the truth, I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own spaceport because that's yeah, probably what Richard Branson did when he was talking to Elon Musk. Pretty much. Good point. Uh, I think that's what all it is. And then you know uh, Jeff Bezos. That's I, I think that's all they're doing now. I think that's the new stunt. Hey, I got my spaceport in New Mexico. Hey, I got my spaceport here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, word. <clears throat> that seemed like the new billionaire stunt now. Because you know, it's Elon Musk. Then it was Jeff Bezos like a couple of weeks back saying he going into space. And then this guy, Richard Branson. Son, got- wake up. We got to build a rocket. We're going to have a <clears throat> spaceport. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Put it right in the back, put it right in the backyard. Yep. That way I can go <laughs> right near the space beach. <clears throat> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to Samson. Fly me to the moon like that bitch, Alice Crabbe. Because it's hard being black and gifted. Sometimes I just want to throw it all down and get lifted. I just want to back you out of it. Like I said, I need a back you out of me. <laughs> that is my movie right there. Shut up, bitch. Shit. Yes, human being. That was my oh, part. Man, when I tell you that human is one of my that's one of my top three favorite movies of all time, yo. Double burger with cheese. Well, well, that nigga, well, that nigga yeah, well, that, I'm right behind you, I'm yo. Human being. Yes, I am human <laughs> being. That, that nigga, that nigga killed Buttercup, yo. Kill Buttercup, but that nigga couldn't get his name right. He was like Butternut Squash Squash Cup. <laughs> oh, that movie is so stupidly funny, man. Uh, 
good time. Good time. So, we talk about half baked out there, listeners. For those that have never seen it, please go see it. It is Dave Chappelle at his finest, early in his career, and it is hilarious. Whether you smoke cannabis or not, whether you care about weed or not, it's just a funny. It's like one of them movies that's so dumb, it's funny. It's a cult classic. It, 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 it's awesome. It's, it's awesome. like a. It's like and it'll a show you how bad. to go on a date for five dollars in New York City. I don't know it's if like it's a, still exchange. But. It's like a super bad, like a hangover, but before. Yeah. Uh, something yeah, like that. Something like that. Yeah, I, I see <clears throat> where you're going with it. But yeah, mm-hmm. man, y'all need to check it out. Please check it out. Please check it out. Okay. All right. And um, I want to I want humbug over this because I like all these all the good news or whatever. So. But it is the fuckery. So I'm gonna just put out some fuckery. Um Ben Carson's mm-hmm. still stupid. That's it. Ben, ben Carson's Carson. still stupid. He <laughs> said that welfare hurt people, uh hurt black people worse than slavery. That's it. We don't really need to discuss any more than that. We've been known that Bill Carson is the most smartest, stupid person we've known in the world because he's a brain surgeon with no brain, which I find <laughs> genetically um and on an evolutionary scale, amazing. So, <clears throat> hey, for, for so somebody that has no brain at all, or at least don't have his their own brain, to be a brain surgeon. I yep. mean, he ain't gonna work on my brain anytime soon. I'm, I'm just, I just kill me. I just, I just die. I don't want him nothing. I come not back pull the plug instead of take me to bed. Nah, nah, you gonna have me coming out looking stupid, retarded, or look, sorry, y'all, sorry. Have me looking stupid, like a brain dead. No, I don't need to be zombie one. Uh, I need to be paddle one. Zombie one. Zombie one. But I think but, I'm um, stayed up so late. I'm ready to eat breakfast. I'm gonna make me some waffles after this. That sounds great. That's great. Waffles and some bacon. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the fuckery off with some greatness. Um, all right, so I finished Loki. Um, bruh, bruh, let me tell. You. Bruh, first of all, before you say this, shout out to Lovecraft Country for getting 18 Emmy nominations. That 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 show was fucking amazing. I'm sad they canceled mm-hmm. it, but shout out to them for still oh, being recognized um, for how great they were. Somebody else picked Go. them up. Somebody else picked them up. That, I don't that show is fucking amazing. Somebody else. I don't care. Somebody else. Up. Give me, give, I need that. I hope it's Hulu. A peacock. I, I, something like that. I think. I'm going to have to look that up. Right right up. Yeah. But I saw that somebody else picked them Shout up. Shout out to them. Oh, whatever. Go ahead, bro. But Marvel is so great at finding these characters I would never care about and making them worth looking at. Cause yeah. Loki, it was Loki is considered one of those characters, villain wise and everything that I never cared about reading comic books. I just thought it was a goofy character. But the writing on this show, <laughs> Is yeah. so awesome, and mm-hmm. on the, in the movies that I mean, even even in the movies, I really didn't care too much about the character. I just feel like all right, the guy that played him did an excellent job playing. Mm-hmm. But as far as the character mm-hmm. and his main like um, position in the Marvel universe in general, I was like, all right, whatever. He's not that that big of a deal or whatever. This show played on the simple fact that he's not that big of a deal and made me like actually enjoy right. about enjoy um like looking at a character I would never even care about. Like that's excellent freaking right. Yeah. And um, Kang is coming, me. man. Kang the Conqueror is coming. That guy, man. <laughs> K A and G is coming. K A and G is coming. It's uh-huh. so we have we have for the first time. No, I can't say that because Simon Phoenix was one hell of a black villain or whatever. He who but, <clears throat> Simon Phoenix, demolition man. 
That was uh why can't I think of that man name that he played Wesley Blade? Snipes. Wesley Snipes, thank you. <laughs> he played the heck out of that role. But to put it in Flame Storms, we got a black super villain now. He wasn't originally black in the comic books, but we have a black man playing uh, one of the most powerful super villains. And the way they're bigging him up, he's more of a problem than Thanos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like he's okay. way more problem of a than than I can't even talk. That's how much that's how crazy mm-hmm. this is. Yeah, yeah we ain't gotta worry, we ain't gotta worry about no snap with this. <laughs> Everything will go he he get his way. Yeah. And if he don't get his way, somebody else that's him gonna get his way. So that's that's the trick. So I'm like now. Now I have to ask you, Tiz. Are you slowly getting that? All right, what's about to happen next with Marvel again? Yet? Nope. No, not I, yet. Well, I, ain't, I ain't watched one series straight through yet. Straight through. Oh. So, like, I know what's happened in each <clears throat> series, mm-hmm. and I've seen certain chunks of episodes, but I have not seen one straight series all the way through yet. And I still have not seen Spider-Man Far From Home. I still haven't seen Black Widow. So I, it's like, I know what's happened in these things, but until I actually see them for myself and like actually had a time to like really, like what made Marvel movies an investment for me is what I would, I used to, like I, I would watch it straight through all the way to the last, to the screen was just straight black. You know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't had that experience with anything with Marvel yet. And a lot of it, right. And a lot of it too is the first Avengers group, a lot of them were characters I was already, I was already a fan of Iron Man. I invested in. Hulk Hulk is my, hell, Hulk is my favorite superhero, him and Wolverine, like a 1A and 1B. Mm -hmm. So like before, when the MC kicked off with him, I was already like, I love this. I love. I, I was cool. I loved Black Panther. I I was in the you know even in the White Tiger and shit. You know what I mean? Like so, the characters they brought out so far outside of Guardians of the Galaxy, I was familiar with. I I had a bearing on. I knew them. I they're going into a world now. Like I'm not. I knew Thanos. I don't mm-hmm. really know Kang the Conqueror's story that well like that. So it's nothing yet that I've. They got to give me. Like, when Black Panther 3 come out, I think that's going to be when it hit me. Because then I'm going to have that that link to something that I, that I love, that I already yeah. know to pull me back in. And I think that's what I'm missing. <clears throat> well, I explain why I'm, yeah. I'm getting that rumbling of excitement here. Because the whole merger of Fox and, into Disney... The whole thing is mm-hmm. like, all right, how are we going to get the Fantastic Four in? How are we going to get the X-Men in? And it doesn't just sound like y'all just made up some mess. Like, how are we going to smoothly put this in the universe and it makes sense, right? right? Loki, when you look at it, is an explanation on how they can make that happen with, with everything that's been going on. Because <clears throat> now... We got this timeline that's splintering into different universes or whatever. And who's to say one of them universes is the the universe where the Fox X-Men were in? Or, hmm. you know what I'm saying? So now it's like we're in a point, because if you, like in the new Spider-Man, they're planning on having um, the first Spider-Man, uh, Tobey Maguire in there, and uh, that mm-hmm. second one. Um, so they're going to have like a, a real life Spider-Verse type thing? <clears throat> yeah. Which makes sense because now they're in this after Loki, after the events of Loki, everything's gone crazy. So now we can have all these real reasons why these random characters coming back in. They even teasing like Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I'm you're, you're, <clears throat> Now you're getting me hyped. That's some shit I was... <clears throat> 
you you bring back some of them old X Men characters. I, I'm I'm with you. You but, even can be Deadpool in there with some of these other MCU characters. I'm with you. I need well, Deadpool type of action. Ryan Reynolds Deadpool is definitely already set to be in. They working on that now anyway, so that's set to come. But my whole thing with Loki and all these other shows, and I knew Loki was going to be the one because I knew they were saying they're going to talk about time or whatever. The way they explained how they had time set up and how what Kang was a part of, it like now it blows it up that they can now put in the Fox universe in here and it makes sense. Right. You have know you saying? seen the end of Black Widow yet? <laughs> I have not yet because look I'm not at the post credit. Look, look at the post credit <clears throat> scene of they got the recaps and stuff online, you know, on YouTube. Okay. Go look at the post credit scene recap. You going you it's gonna be some nuggets in there for you that you gonna really appreciate because of your level of like understanding of the world. You you gonna rock with it. Yeah. But and, yeah. and it'll give you another bit as to where they might be going with these characters in the overall like major arc behind <laughs> some of these movies. Mm-hmm. But the, the main thing um when is really, Guardians 4? I'm sorry. Guardians. Well, we got to get the Guardians, well, Guardians 3. Yeah, when is Guardians 3? I'm sorry. It, they probably <laughs> finishing whatever he had to finish with Suicide Squad and oh. getting that out of the way. And then he can go right back into doing Guardians yeah, or whatever. Ready. I'm ready. Or whatever. So <clears throat> that's coming. And that's I know Thor is going to be in that. And I think, I think the Guardians might end up being a new Thor also. The way the storyline is going. But, so. but yeah, I really want to see I, I really want to see Homeboy as, as Kang. Like, he was being the sarcastic He was nice amazing guy. in Lovecraft Country. And I had never really <laughs> paid him no mind before that movie. Like, I know he was in stuff before that, but the first time I paid him any mind was in that movie. But, I mean, in that show. And I ride with old boy. He all right with me. Yeah, I would be. Mm-hmm. Just to be back. I just feel like they gave him, oh, you you giving him a universal power and putting him in the movie? Oh, this is going to be crazy. Yeah. This is I like the, crazy. I like the way he played, <clears throat> played that character, too. Uh, he who still remains or whatever. Like I like the way he played it in kind of like a quirky, mm-hmm. like eccentric way. Mm-hmm. But if you catch, he said that there's different versions of him. Yep. And that's just the version we have. Yep. So at the mm-hmm. end, when you see the statue, you see the version that's coming. And I like it because when you look at Kane the Conqueror in the comic book and you look at his costume, you're like, there ain't no way no guy dressed up like this is going to scare me or whatever. Right. Right. But the way they put it up in the statue mm-hmm. and then had his face up, like it's it actually face. looks formidable, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. like oh, this is this is fearsome. Yeah. Oh man, <clears throat> and it's a scientist. There's not no god person, right? Whatever. Right, this right, is, right. This is just a scientist with extra with technology that a god is having a problem against. A god yes. in another version of himself is, is having a problem against. So, yeah, but. That, that's my nerd rat for Loki, and um, I'm gonna just end it off with, "Hey, who y'all got with uh, Dipset versus the Locks on this um, trailer? <laughs> this trailer versus that he just popped." Man, these with. versus is coming. Um, <laughs> Dipset. All right, yeah, I was gonna say Dipset. Dipset personally influenced me more and was more of a part of my daily soundtrack in my coming of age years. Like I was. Definitely heavy dip set. You already know, man. You know, like we got a yeah. homeboy nickname was Flea. You know what yeah. I mean? Like mm-hmm. we, we, we like dip set was that's that's what it was. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, I'm definitely down. Yeah. With, I'm definitely rocking with dip set. And Locks got a lot of rapidy rap songs, but hits. Mm-hmm. I'm going with dip set mm-hmm. all day. I think they're going to ride on Jada Kiss side a little bit more when it comes to the hits and probably the older classics. Jay, or whatever, Jada, but. Ain't, ain't nobody in the locks got a bowling. 
No, nah, mm-hmm. not one of them. No. And that's the problem. <laughs> Ain't none of them got that. Ain't none of them got an old boy. Ain't none of them got a, hey, ma, what's up? They, they don't have those. Mm-hmm. those types of bangers like they got street bangers but they don't have like mm-hmm. everybody like this song type bangers and that's gonna be mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's, it's dip set for me too and then you know dip like set, my, dip set, dip set, you know dip set. No, I, I talk about my brother a lot but my brother also remind me of the homo we talk about named flea just just how they act and everything no what and, no oh no oh no what did you just say Flea. Say that sentence. Uh, say the sentence again for me, please. Okay, my brother, he, he's he's basically gonna go for Dipset because uh, okay, Dipset is like his Wu Tang. <laughs> you ain't heard me right, but it's alright. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "What?" I didn't, I didn't either. I thought I heard you say something else. Yeah, I was like, "Hey, I can't." I, 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 was, I think they gonna, uh, they might flag us for that. I'm gonna. Have to... No, 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 no man. We can say that like that. No, <laughs> I didn't see. I don't right. even know what the hell I just. Man, I'm about to <laughs> look at the recording. How the hell did uh... I see this? But anyway, yeah, it's dip set with this. Mm-hmm. Dip, dip, and, uh, dip, and that's the end of the good and fuckery. Thank <laughs> you.